everyone, it is Wednesday, August, September, September 1st, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News, and we have a reason to celebrate today. This is the 200th video on this channel, so yay! Okay, that's done. Well, apparently experts have determined that releasing um, pet snakes, abandoned snakes, is a common problem, really. How what kind of education do you need that it takes you 35 years to determine abandoned pets are a problem? Don't snakes, Look, you see, the four-year-old gets it. Why can't you? I, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Georgia wildlife officials are opening up an investigation at the Atlanta Zoo, apparently going to go inspect the zoo in light of the recent rattlesnake that escaped from the zoo. The zoo released a explanation that after their internal investigation they determined that an employee did not properly secure the lid to the cage that the rattlesnake was held in and that's how it got out. The snake was found dead a couple blocks from the zoo. It was killed by a homeowner. And a lizard, a large lizard, a four and a half foot long savanna monitor was found on Highway 7 near Maddox. Brent Boyd was called out to rescue the lizard and it was sent to the Indian River Reptile Zoo. And a seven year old girl is lucky to be alive today after being bitten on the foot by a rattlesnake. She apparently barely made it to the back steps house before losing consciousness. She was unconscious for several hours. She claims that she did not see the light during her unconsciousness or anything, but it just felt like she was in an uncontrolled sleep that she couldn't wake up from. Authorities are praising the fast action by the emergency responders and the doctors in the hospital for her recovery. And in Lakeland, Florida, animal control officials found several dead animals in a pet store where the power had been shut off. According to the local power authority, the power was shut off five days prior due to an unpaid bill. The owner of the pet store did return and explain that she the store in the hands of a caretaker and doesn't know what happened. There were 50 other animals in the store including all sorts of rodents, reptiles, um, chickens, doves, several other birds. Authorities are currently investigating to try to find out who the caretaker was and charges may be filed. Honestly, you know, I don't, I don't normally like to comment right here on the stories. I just like to tell them and leave the comments up to you. But honestly, authorities are investigating to find out who the caretaker was. I have an idea. Either the owner gives up the name of the caretaker and the caretaker gets locked up or the owner gets locked up, plain and simple. There's no investigating about it. There's no $20 million district attorney file that we have to deal with. Give the name or go to jail, plain and simple. Anyway, you be the judge. And it's no secret that Guam is having uh, a big problem with the invasive brown tree snake. They've been fighting this snake forever. They claim that the snake was, was accidentally released in Guam many, many years ago. They set up traps and what they're doing now, they are dropping toxic dead mice from a helicopter. Um, the mice are fitted with tracking to so they can determine if the brown tree snakes are eating them and if they're working. This at first seemed like a good idea to me. I mean, obviously, it's a, it's a big problem. The brown tree snake in Guam is directly linked to several species extinctions in Guam. But then it occurred to me, I don't, I mean, do, do these t poisonous dead mice that they're dropping from a helicopter, do they come with a sign that says, for brown tree snakes only? I, I mean, what else is going to eat them and then end up dying? What kind of native species are going to eat them and end up dying? They claim, and I will put the video somewhere around here on the link to the website, that the traps they're using are the most effective in the world. However, they're just not, not cutting it, getting rid of the brown tree snake. Well, anyway, like I said, this is our 200th video on this channel, so... You know what? Pass the link around, celebrate, get the video, 20 million views. Yeah, probably not going to happen. But anyway, it's, uh, it's good to think about. So, yeah, that is all the news for this Wednesday, September 1st, 2010. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other. Mm -hmm.